welcome back to my channel, it's Cerise here, and as promised, I told you guys it would be a Shadow Me video following up. I didn't realise it would arrive freaking the next day. So I have the Shadow Me by Live Glam second eyeshadow palette. I'm so excited to freaking try it, it's amazing. I also moved my beauty room around, so it's a bit, a bit crazy up in here. But um, yeah, I got this today, and yeah, pretty much it's an eyeshadow subscription. So there is the lipstick subscription, but this is the eyeshadow subscription. Every two months you will get a new eyeshadow palette, which will have between 9 and 18 shadows, I think. Yeah, between 9 and 18 shadows. And they are vegan and cruelty free and yeah, oh and if you use code STRESS1307 on sign up you get yourself a free lipstick as well. Um, but yeah, pretty much gets delivered to your door, it's international, it's awesome, the formulas are really cool and I'm excited for this month because they did have a hiatus for a bit because I think they like messed up the formula or something. So I'm really excited to try this, I'm so excited. But what I love about the Shadow Me packages is they pretty much arrive like a PR package. Like look, look how bougie this is, hang on, let's, let's open her up. Like, look how freaking cool. Like, it's so cute. It's so cool. So, this is how it comes in here. And it's got the wee card, and it is the PS I Love You palette. And then it's got all these shades on the back as well. So, that's really cool. It's got different um, names of them as well. And then this is the actual palette here. And I just love that it comes in this box. I think that's so special. Like, it, it's just the packaging for me is everything. And that's really, really cool. So... Yeah, this is the palette here, and it does say on the back, Peace, I love you, and then it's got all of the ingredients there. And of course, this is a slip cover, and the actual palette is underneath. So this is it here. So the ingredients aren't actually on the back of this palette, but it is on the slip sleeve. So here we go. That is the colors there. So that is all nine shades. So there is four mattes, and then there is five glimmers. So I think I'm going to do two different eye looks today and see how it turns out. But these look so freaking pretty. I will read what this little card says here. So it says, Melt hearts with these shades. Love is in the air with our new eyeshadow... Oh, sorry, with our new Shadow Me palette. P.S. I love you. Ready to create the most, the most romantic looks with four stunning mattes and five shimmers? Start with Love Letter or Me and More for a perfect transition shade. Then deepen things up with a cool toned brown soulmate or a rich chocolate brown my everything for a pop of colour. Take your pick at these irresistible sparkling shimmer shades. If you're more into neutrals, 143XOXO, add the... This is really hard to read. It doesn't stop there. As a member of Shadow Me, you'll get a brand new palette with 9 to 10 shades. Oh, sorry, it's 9 to 10 shades every other month. So make plenty of room in that vanity. Once you've tried these out, let your eyes do the talking by tagging Live Glam Fam on the gram so we can repost your gorgeous looks. P.S. We love you. That's really cute. And then that is that on the back there. But yeah, so it says every other month, but on the website it says every two months, so... Yeah. Oh, it does actually have the shade names on it. That's actually, I actually did not notice that at all. Okay, cool. Well, let's do some swatching, I guess, and we'll see how it goes. So, this is Love Letter. Also, you've got to note that swatching on your arm, the pigments in your fingers are different. That, that is really freaking pigmented. Is different to how you swatch, you know what I mean? So, ooh, that's so pretty. So, it doesn't mean that just because it swatches really amazing, it's going to be really good on the eyes. If it swatches really shit, doesn't mean that it's going to be really good you know you're really bad you know what I mean so that is the four matte shades and let's get on to the glimmers let's start with one four three so the glimmer shade does feel a little bit gritty but it's not that bad it is having a lot of fallout on that one as well oh that pink though that pink is really freaking pretty all right and let's go on to the next one this green so the green is a bit chunky but that's all right and then we'll go on to the blue oh i feel like the pink and the blue i'm gonna have to make eye looks out of because that is so freaking pretty but yeah those are the swatches there and they are adorable oh my god they're so freaking cute i can't that is so cute ah i think yeah definitely the pink and that one and maybe even that oh there's so many looks that I could create with this, so I think I'm going to do two different eyes for you guys. Alrighty, so now that we've swatched it, um, definitely favourites are this pink one here. It definitely is much lighter than this. This looks like it would be super dark, but it's actually really light. Alrighty, so... Oh, I'm also going to peel this off. <laughs> but yeah, it's really cute because the other one only had six shadows in it, so the fact that this has nine, that's pretty freaking good. Alrighty, so I think where I should really start is, I'm going to get a blendy shade. I think I'm going to start on one eye. I think I'm just going to go in with my everything, which is this dark shade here. And I'm going to put that in my crease and we'll see how 
this comes up. Let's get it here out of the way. So you can see that it is blending really well and I mean you've seen that I just dipped in and the, the pigment is very strong. It's a very strong pigment as well. Alright so I've blended that colour out and I think if I get for my lid I'm going to get the shade Passion. Let's get the shade Passion and put that on my lid. So it's not very fallouty too. I think for an everyday palette, this probably isn't an everyday palette one, but it definitely is pretty. Okay, so I've done green on there. This is actually really fast to work with as well, which is quite nice. All right, and I think under my eye, I'm gonna go with shade, I'm gonna go with shade Spark and put that under my eye. So there definitely is a lot of fallout going on, but that's all right. Now I'm going to blend out with Soulmate and kind of make it a smoky eye sort of situ. So it is definitely very fallouty, which I have noticed. <laughs> I'm going to re-get, well, I'm going to spray on my brush to make it a bit more pigmented and I'm going to re-get Passion again to try and just brighten up that green. Alright and then I think what I'll do is I'm going to try and brush away all of this. So the green shimmer kind of transferred down, but I think apart from that, that's actually not a very bad eye look. With the colours, it was probably a bit dark, so I think the other eye, I'm going to go for something a bit lighter, but yeah. Alright, let's crack on to the other eye now, and I think to blend, I'm going to use shade Love Letter Here, which is a very light shade. It's a light kind of pinky colour. Alrighty, and then on this lid, I am going to put Tiamo on it. Tiamo. Tiamo? Okay, so this wet is everything, and it is very purply and iridescent. Love that. Alright, that's a, that's a definite look, I suppose. And then I'm going to get under my eye on this one. I think I'm going to get one for three and give that a go. You can definitely make some kind of like rose goldy look with this one as well. If you really like gave it a go. This one is definitely more glittery and chunky. Than the other ones. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> that one is super, super chunky. I'm just going to get shade Love Letter again. Just blend that out. And then I think I'm going to get the 143 again. And I'm just going to pat that onto the center of my lid. Which didn't really do shit at all. But that's okay. <laughs> didn't really do shit at all. Um... Yeah, and then, okay, well, I'm going to get this shade. I'm going to put my everything, which is that darker brown just on the outer corner. Alrighty. So, I'm just going to dust that off because this is very full out too. This is a very full out palette. Wear under eye setting, spray, uh, setting powder for this because it is a very full out palette. And you can tell by the actual palette itself that it is very, very full out -y. This is a very gritty um glitter as well on the eye which I have noticed as well so I think now I'm just going to put on some mascara and eyeliner and be right back at the time being I've got some very large opinions which I will be sharing in a moment well that is mascara and eyeliner put on there so the eye look doesn't actually look that bad with all of this like added extra stuff on it but yeah I don't know 
The palette as a whole is very, very pretty to look at. It's a very aesthetically pleasing palette. The eye look as well, I don't overall hate. I'm not like, oh my god, I hate it so much, I'll never use this palette again. But um, just with the eye look, I'm just kind of like, that was really gritty. You can literally see how gritty that palette is. I think just the quality of the shadows, the glitters are just kind of put together very strangely. Um, the actual shade Soulmate, which was that darker shade, it does have glitter pigments in it, it does seem like, and so does my everything. There's a little bit of glittery, like, flecks in there as well, because I was wondering why my um, blended shade did have some gold glitters in it. I thought, oh, well, maybe um, I had some left over from my highlighter or something. But yeah, I mean, overall with this palette, I don't think it's an absolute must-have. It is very, very pretty, though, and I think for the price point, it is... You know, it, it is good quality, but it's not something that I'd be like, oh my god, you need to go get it. The first Shadow Me, though, is amazing, and you do need to go get it, but this one, I think that you could probably pass on, if I'm honest. But yeah, I mean, I don't hate the eye look, but I'm not obsessed with it, and I'm not frothing. So, yeah, that, I guess, is my review of the uh, PS I Love You palette by Live Glam. Um, I'm not obsessed with it. Um, it is pretty, it applies nicely, but the shadows are too, um, the glittery shadows are a bit too gritty for me. So yeah, that's my overall review. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe with the subscribe box. And what do you guys think about this month's Shadow Me collection? Let me know in the comments down below. But until next time, I love you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!